Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother, Yayo Ezra Ben Levy, coming at you again with another quick video. You know how I do. I will not be before you long. As you all know, well, many of you might not know, but today is the day we start the Torah portion reading cycle over. Yes, we unroll the scroll and dig back in from the very beginning. Last Shabbat, we closed out the Torah portion reading. It would take a year to read and study the Torah portion. We closed out last Shabbat. This Shabbat, we start the process all over again. Now, I will not do the whole Torah portion in these videos that I will be um, making on each Shabbat. But I do want to take a portion from out of the portion, a very tiny portion at that, and just see what we can pull from it, see what we can glean from it. What can we use? What can we meditate upon and get a clarity on this awesome king that we serve. So, as I said, let us begin. First of all, let's give all praise, honor, and glory to the Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Yitzhak, and the God of Yaakov. He is the Holy One of Israel. Besides him, there is none other. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to start in Bereshit, commonly known as Genesis chapter 1, and we will only read verse 1. As I told you before, this is going to be a portion of a portion, a tiny portion, but within this verse, there is so much. Now, bear with me as I We'll read it first in Hebrew. My Hebrew is not the greatest. I probably will not do this all the time, but I feel this will be a good time to do this. So first allow me to read it in Hebrew. And then I will read, um, translate what I said, but it's commonly, as it's commonly known in English, how it is read. So hallelujah. Bereshit. Bara Elohim et Hashemaim va et ha Eretz. It says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. Now, in that one verse, what do you see? And probably more importantly, what do you not see? It's always good to know what is stated, but we should never overlook what plainly isn't stated. Now, many people see the word Elohim, and for those that have baseline understanding of the Hebrew, they know um, the I, M, or the in at the end of a um, word in the Hebrew pluralizes the word. That is why many people, when they see the word Elohim, they really want to say gods. Because that will bring, that kind of brings um, support to the understanding that they have of God. Now, some people have an understanding of God that he is a trinity. That he is um, one. He is one God made up or composed of three divine beings that make up the one God. But this is one thing you have to understand. When the word Elohim is being um, mentioned pertaining to the God of Abraham, 
the God of the Israelite people, it is always understood in the singular. It is not seen as a plural word, meaning God's, because he already have said of himself that he is one. If he speaks of himself, letting you know that he is one, that he is eternal, that he is everlasting, that there is none with him, none beside him. Why will you gravitate to an understanding that he is more than one? When he makes it clear that he's not. And our ancestors understood it for what it is. When this word, which can be used as a plural word, which is used in the Hebrew scriptures, speaking of false gods. The word Elohim, in proper context, is speaking of false gods. That same word is being used. But when you but when you use the word Elohim, referring to the power, to the source of Abraham and his descendants, the Israelites, it's always understood in the singular. Now, some could disagree with me, and I have no problem with that. It's, it's a free world. You have the, the right to do what you want. But we plainly see that God created the heaven and the earth. So I'm letting you know, what can we get from this? This is a new beginning of reading the Torah portion. But I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, if you want to have a beginning it starts with God. If you want to start something new in your life, you have to start with God. Do not do it without God. God is the source. He is the power that you and I need on our side. So my brothers and my sisters, just pulling from this one verse, we see the beginning started with God. We need God to be in our beginning. Whatever you want to do, include God. Don't start anything without him. Shalom.